Hello, and uh, this is a video of the renderings of our church. Uh, so this is the uh, more recent rendering, uh, number four. I'll switch to number five soon, but um, so the differences between four and five feels like we're going to the eye doctor now. Um, so with four, um, not much. Yeah, so let's just go to five. So the difference between five is the location of the pulpit. I asked for this uh, rendering for a couple of reasons. One was um, to place it in the original location. And if you go up to where it's stationed at now by where the American flag is at, you'll see, uh, look at the step, you'll see the cutout where um, the pulpit base had been. So go back to four. Uh, so the base for the pulpit, I'll try and zoom in a little bit more. There we go. Uh, this base actually goes to the pulpit. And uh, so one of the reasons to uh, get them back together is just for that. And then another thing that is happening is that the altar base, uh, the, the pulpit base, I should say, where the altar is placed upon, the, the base sticks out about two and three quarters inches on both the front and the, the back. So the front being kind of where I'm at now. So if we go up into the, the sanctuary and walk around uh, to the other side where I stand at when I'm facing the people is um, that is uh, sticks out. So it's awkward for a couple of reasons. One, I can never stand as close to the altar as I would like to be able to. And then secondly, when I genuflect, when uh, I've held up the, the Eucharist, whether the host or the chalice, um, I hit that every time. It's not like I'm breaking my toes every single time I celebrate Mass. But um, it gets to be cumbersome. So that's a couple of reason, you know, reasons for the, that uh, proposal of moving the pulpit over there. Um, one of the things that somebody mentioned in passing was that if a person is sitting towards the back of the church, uh, if the pulpit is um, where it's at now, it can be a little tough to see over people's heads and having it over here, and it would be actually be higher by about a foot and a half, um, is that uh, you'd be able to see the person who's uh, speaking, whether it's the lector or the uh, deacon as he reads the gospel or uh, as the homily is proclaimed. Otherwise, there are not many changes. Um, so just wanted to offer this. Um, this will be at the entrances to the church, uh, specifically the east entrance. It gets a little tight in the, uh, uh, the south entrance, um, just with where, how the doors open up and that kind of stuff. So um, the comment sheets will be available um, as they have been in the past. Um, and uh, again, not much has changed from this rendering to number five, aside from the location of the pulpit. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, you can always uh, get a hold of me by emailing me or uh, calling the parish office. Uh, thanks for your time, and God bless.